Well, good morning, travelers. I think Quark is telling me it's time to get up. Is it time to get up? Is it? Is it time to get up? Quark. Time to get up. What? What? I think so. I think it's time to get up and get this day started. You think? You think it's time? How would you like getting woke up every day like this? He's a pain. He's a pain. <laughs> He's a pain. Quark. Quark. Ah! We have to get up. We have to get up. You ready? Ready to get up? Go outside. Go outside. All right. We'll be right back. Somewhere there's smoke coming from the north. Somewhere. I don't know who's burning. But I can smell it. And I can see it. And it's pretty thick. I don't know. Pretty thick. Well, we did make it out of bed. And it is Monday. And I've got another video for you. And it's in our little series called Tips and Tricks. And in one little short minute, we're going to show you another tip that I use on a daily basis. Are we uh, involved in the video here? You seem to move around, bark, and act like a total turd when I get a video going. You are a video disruptor. What's the deal? Do you want to get up? Do you want to get down? All right, go. 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 Thank you. I needed to get up anyway. All right, so I'm going to show you another tip. Clark, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Every time I get on... A video and start recording this little ham goes into serious action every time do you want to be the star of the show yeah I think so all right well back up because you're blocking the camera back it up is that your toy is that your toy that's your toy all right back up back up come on off off Thank you, Mr. Ham. I think he wants to let you know that he's here and he's not going to miss videos. Anyway, anyway, we'll get him sorted and we'll be back in a minute. I believe he needed to go outside. So, he's out there. Now I can record in peace, and I don't have him attacking me. Anyway. Many of you RVers know how hard it is to keep produce in your RV refrigerator. At home, you may not have this problem, but in the RV, it's very difficult. A lot of us have gas-powered motorhomes, and... Um, excuse me, gas-powered refrigerators in our motorhomes, which sounds like an oxymoron. The gas um, turns on a heat exchanger, which and changes, and I don't know how it all works, but it cools the refrigerator. Anyway, you either get somewhat cool, extremely cool, or frozen. And if you're trying to keep produce in your refrigerator, a lot of times it'll freeze. So I've come up with an idea that I've been using for the last six years, seven years, excuse me, and it's worked and it's worked beautifully. And I can keep lettuce for two weeks, regular lettuce from the store for two weeks, sometimes a little bit longer. And I'm going to show you um, what I've done. So let me let me get my little device and I'll show you how it works. Hang in there. Now, first thing when I'm in parking mode, I move um, 
move these things over to the passenger seat or the driver's seat and it's usually this box here and this box here now this is a little cooler this little cooler right here right here right here this little cooler little quantum cooler it's a little square box not nothing big small okay and here's what I do I freeze these okay I have a freezer I freeze these and I have a couple of these so I swap them out every 12 hours I have taken a little um, put this over there I've taken a little um, crate from the uh, oh I guess from the office supplies and I have a couple little sticks down in the bottom I cut the bottom out because of the way it's shaped if I go in like this it won't fit so it's kind of it looks straight up and down square but it's not so I had to cut the bottom out and that just tops in there so I can put loose produce in there if I like however to get it to last I use one of these bottles just plain old ordinary bottle this one's cold put that one back in there I dampen and I mean dampen a little paper towel I put my lettuce in there now I've had this lettuce in here when did I go to the store last I went last week sometime anyway this is lettuce from I don't know the other day Let me open this jar this is lettuce from the other day you hear that it's still crunchy in here what I what I do is I a complete head of this green leaf lettuce is too much for one jar so I just cut the stem I don't cut the lettuce once you cut the lettuce it goes bad I put half in one jar half in the other jar I finished off half last night I put them in this little cooler box I take the blue put it on top close the lid and that's it that'll last me approximately two weeks on the lettuce if you buy the cut lettuce it gets goes bad faster as soon as you cut lettuce with any kind of metal it starts to change to brown if you use a plastic knife it'll probably last a little longer but if you get the lettuce in the bag um, I do this too with that but it doesn't it doesn't last as long uh, the lettuce in the bag does not last as long because it's already been cut so I like to buy the head leaf lettuce I, I like the green leaf lettuce sometimes I buy the red leaf I'm not crazy about the red leaf because it tends to look like it's bad before it actually is bad but I use the green leaf lettuce and I usually have that in there a couple weeks because I use a little cherry tomatoes and I use half the head one time and half the head another time because I don't eat salads but maybe once a week because I'm on the um, carnivore diet which is um, all meat 100% meat products like eggs cheese uh, dairy I can eat dairy I don't have a problem with dairy but uh, it's an all meat uh, food program that to get the carbohydrates out of my system so I incorporate a little taco salad which consists of the lettuce that you saw there little grape tomatoes sour cream uh, shredded cheese and if I have olives I'll throw olives in there and then the meat source will either be um, chicken or it'll be hamburger meat and I'll cook that up in my little pot and put in some uh, Mrs. Dash Chipotle seasoning, some salt, and mix that all up, and I'll have myself a taco salad. I usually do that once a week at least, and um, so that lettuce will last me for two times, so that's two weeks of lettuce uh, without it freezing. The trick is, is to freeze those, um, those blue freezer things, and I have a freezer. That's a freezer. It's not a refrigerator that's a full-blown freezer I bought that for Jake's food but I also have this refrigerator slash freezer here and um, the trick is is to freeze those and to change them out every 12 hours 
and then um, if you change those out I don't know why it's so foggy but anyway if you change those out then it will it will last longer the warmer it is outside the more often I change the 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 blue packs um, right now the sun's shining on that so I take a little blanket and I put over the top to keep the sun from baking that and I want the sun in here oh this is my bib for when I eat yes I wear a bib keeps my clothes clean I don't spill on myself so I, that's my bib when I eat anyway um, that's my tip and trick for this week Hopefully you enjoy it and enjoyed the little antics with Quark in the front. And um, as I always tell you, follow your heart, embrace your dreams, and cherish your life. And get out there and do something interesting today. Um, we're having a super windy day and I think I need to drive into town because I'm running out of heavy cream that they sell in the store for now exorbitant prices. Anyway, we will see you another day. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.